Hey guys, it's Jen. It says I'm live, but oh, here, there we go. Make it look okay. Now, there we go. And it's been a long time since I have gone live, and Facebook looks a little bit different. Looks like I've got people. Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I am live today to talk about something that I have never addressed live, and that is um, fixing dings or repairing scratches or uh, just freshening up your uh, chalk paint and especially waxed furniture. Um, that's what I love most about Annie Sloan's wax. It is so easy to repair, and you can't even tell the difference. Um, these chairs, these chairs are about 110 years old. They are uh, arts and crafts period, so early 20th century solid oak. Yes, I painted them, um, but I will post a picture of the set uh, that this little guy goes with uh, later on this week. I've got the table all redone. So I actually use this dining room set personally. I painted these chairs gosh, probably three or four years ago. And oh, hello, Catherine. Um, I painted these chairs three or four years ago. Uh, I have, at the time I had big teenage people using them. It's probably been, been longer than that actually, a long time. But I, I painted them in a mix of Amsterdam green and Antibes green to make this really lovely emerald. And I did a couple coats of clear wax. Hello, my sister Ashley is here. Hello, hello. Um, and after several years of people sitting on them with uh, buttons or, or metal stuff on their jean pockets, you know, us girls, we like to look pretty even on our backsides. <laughs> Um, uh, people putting their feet up on rungs, um, hitting, hitting it with the mop or the vacuum, you get little dings and scratches. So, for example, and hopefully you'll be able to see this, the lighting is not great. Let me bring you really close. So you get stuff like this. And, I mean, if you're looking for that distress look, that's fine. But if you like the clean look that I have then no, that's not going to work. Maybe if I move some of this stuff out of the way. What are you doing today, Ashley? Dave, what are you doing here? I mean, you're not here. Are you bringing lunch? All right. So what I'm going to start by doing, hopefully you can see, oh, Jen, turn it the right way. Everything's backwards on camera. So I've got this, this wear right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, this is a well-used medium Annie Sloan sanding pad. And when I say well-used, it's not quite as, um, as rough as it was when it was new. Um, I didn't have a fine one here, so I just grabbed this old green one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand that back. And then what that's gonna do, it's gonna get rid of any ridge, you know, when you paint. You get a chip and you get that hard ridge and if you paint over that it's really obvious so you don't want to see that so I'm just gonna sand that back a little bit and it's also gonna remove the wax because if you put if you put chalk paint over your wax here I am <laughs> if you put your chalk paint over your wax uh, and then wax over that you're gonna see a, a, a difference in color and of course that's annoying because we are all perfectionists and we want everything to be absolutely perfect, right? Okay, so I've sanded that back just a little bit. So this is an, an older can of paint that I mixed. I wonder if it's, oh, it's upside down. Yeah, there we go. Amsterdam and Antibes Green. And I stirred this up really well. So this can, um, this can of custom mixed green is as old as, uh, as the paint, I shouldn't say as old, but it's been around as long as the paint job on these chairs. And so when I opened the can, I was concerned that the paint might have dried up some. Um, I did have to add a little bit of water, but that's the beauty of this stuff. You just add a little bit of water and go for it. So what I'm gonna do is, 
Make sure my chair doesn't fall off the table here. Can you still see it okay? Maybe if I move this. Oh, hey, look, it's a whole new world. I am going to grab a brush. And this is a large, flat Annie Sloan detail brush. You do not need a lot of paint. So what I'm going to do is I've, I've put a, quite a bit of paint on here. I'm going to wipe it, a, a bunch of that off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that brush up to the corner on this side and up to the corner on this side. And what that's going to do, when you brush over a corner like this, you're putting a very, very thin amount, uh, like one mil thick of, of paint. And then I'm going to come to each side and just very softly blend that with my finger. A touch up, right? So you got to touch it. All right. So then, obviously, we're going to let that dry. I'm going to break out my noisy little paint drying device. I think I might have mentioned at some point that Revlon makes specialized paint drying tools. They look a lot like a blow dryer. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so I'm going to back away from the speaker a little bit so I don't blast your ears off. And I will dry that. found another spot look at that perfectionism so we'll touch that up a little bit too and I find that that blending it down with my finger after I've brushed it just blends it in with the pre-existing paint job um, if you you know brush with this or use a, a an Annie Sloan flat brush I was using yesterday I noticed that I would see brush strokes that didn't quite match what was already there so just a very very light touch and you can blend that right in and and it all matches so then i'm gonna i'm not even gonna add more paint to this i'm gonna do the exact same thing i'm gonna brush out to the corner on both sides just like that can you see in this okay Aha. Mm -hmm. and then again just smooth those down and dry it again. What are you guys doing today? Are you having any fun today? What is it Thursday? So, hey, it's Friday Eve. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Don't fall off the table. So now that I've got that paint on there, and hopefully you can see that well enough. I wish there was a way to zoom in. Um, you can't really see that damage anymore, obviously, on camera. It looks, but you, it looks like you can kind of see where the new paint is. So I'm going to wax over that spot very softly. You don't need a lot. Just enough to cover. And then I will take my handy dandy blue shop towel. And just very softly, one side and the other, remove the wax. Don't, don't wipe right on the corner like this because your paint is very fresh and because there's not very much of it, you risk wiping that all off. So don't wipe the corner itself, just wipe the flat sides. And that should be good to go. Um, now, one other thing to take into consideration, when you touch up the paint, you may have, um, the layer might look a little higher and you might notice a little difference in color. So if you take that sanding pad again, just where you blended and just very, very gently sand that back just the tiniest little bit and then re-wax that, you have to be about three inches away from it to see any difference in coloration. I think it looks fantastic. So, how's that look? You see any any problems? Annie's paint is just the greatest paint in the world. I can't get enough of it. I can't stop talking about it. And to see 
you know, a paint job that looks this good after this amount of time. And with wax, you know, most people don't think that that wax is strong enough. It is absolutely strong enough. And again, repairable. You would not be able to do this with a polyacrylic top coat, a latex or acrylic based paint. It wouldn't work. You would see those overlaps uh, and you can't get rid of them. But with this paint, you can totally do that. Now, with regard to maintenance throughout the year, um, I have only, I, the last time I waxed these chairs is when I originally painted them. So three or four years ago, whatever it was. Dave, are you still here? Do you know how long ago we brought these home? He might not be. Oh, I got more comments. Nikki's here. Metal, you're funny, Dave. Hi, Shane. Hi, Melinda. Catherine, hello. Hello. My dad is here. Hey, dad. I love it. I love it. So good to see you guys. Okay, so back to back to maintenance. So the last time I waxed these chairs was when I originally painted them. And I did one, I did, well, I probably did two coats of wax. And when I wax a chair, I wax, Don, I wax, you know, when I, right after I paint them, and then I wait a day, I wait 24 hours, and then I wax again. So the solvent in Annie's wax um, takes about a day to, to fully evaporate. Um, so you do want to wait. Um, I always wait 24 hours to repeat the, the wax coats because if you, if you wax, you know, even if it's, you know, six hours later, that solvent may still be there. And so you're essentially pushing around the same coat of wax. And the whole premise is to double up because you want durability on a dining room chair. Um, so, and when I cleaned these chairs, I just cleaned them with mild soap and water, sometimes just water. Uh, a hot rag does, does wonderful things for a wax finish, smooths things out. Um, now to repair when, you know, after repairing these chairs, because I'm bringing them back in here to repurpose them so that another family can enjoy them. I am doing a fresh coat of clear wax. I mean, it has been three to four years. So, uh, adding a coat of wax every few years like that does a couple things for you. First of all, wax is the best thing to use to get stains off of a wax finish. I have actually successfully removed Sharpie from a waxed finish with wax. You just, you just put the wax on your brush and you use a little bit of friction. Mm -hmm. and, some, and with a Sharpie, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of work. Um, but I have pieces here in the shop that get beat up. Uh, my my uh, painted cabinet door, if that is my husband, nope, somebody else. Um, but my painted cabinet doors that I use to show the color, um, they get really beat up because people, you know, pull them up out of their bin and they scrape them around each other and throw them on the couch and do all these things with them. They get really dirty. So every now and again, I go ahead and take my clear wax and I get rid of those stains. And then the beauty of that is that you're adding another layer of durability and you just can't go wrong there. Rosie Rammel. Hey, the whole family's here. Hey, Deb. So that's the best way to maintain is just every few years, give your wax finish a new coat of wax and it'll clean it up. It'll make it look fresh and shiny again and you will not have any problems. So trust the wax and take good care of your stuff. If you have any other questions, if there's anything else I can do for you, give me a call here at the shop. The number is 435-669-3733. And, uh, and visit the website, reclaimsaintgeorge.com. Have a great day.